Hi everyone, it's Amy. I have a huge haul for you today. One of the the downsides to being off for the summer is that I tend to go shopping quite a bit. So I've been to quite a few places. The first place was Asta, where I picked up this new dress. I really, really love these bat wing sleeves. And it has quite a flared skirt. And this was £16. So I picked that up and it just ties up at the back there move that out of the way and I also picked this magazine up in Asda and I pretty much picked it up for the little hedgehog stamp oh my dog hair all over it sorry about that pretty much picked it up for the little hedgehog stamp as you say it's got happy birthday just for you and it has a little small embossing folder as well so that's the free gift in there and it this is quick cards issue 168 I have also been to Ikea and in Ikea I picked up a set of each of these. I can't remember if they have a special name these pots but they're really really useful to keep art bits in at school. They're really durable. Oh there you go, there's the name. Oh no it doesn't have a name on it. But there's the code if anyone was looking to, to get these. These are a pound for each set so you get blue, green and white and then pink, yellow and white. Also from Ikea, I picked up some baby bibs. I have two friends that are pregnant at the moment. One is having a boy and the other one, she is waiting for the surprise. And I really, really loved these bibs. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were £3 for the set. So you've got this light grey one with the dark grey stars. And you've got this light blue one with the clouds. And then this sort of orange and white one with the little characters. But what I really liked about these is they're, they're fleece. They're really thick bibs. And I really liked them, so I picked up a set for each of the, my friends to go in their little baby shower bits. And the last thing that I picked up in Ikea, well I say the last thing, I picked up a lot of these, are the Tulsby frames. Now I've seen on Pinterest and various forums and things, ver uh, different teachers using these in their classroom. And what they generally do is take the plastic out and then put, the, put book rings around the top of these so you can flip it around like a flip chart. So I've started making things, I'm going to share these in a video near the end of summer once I've made um, all my word charts and things like that. But that's what I've got them for, to go some on the tables with ge like general bits and bobs on, some maths ones, some English ones, things like that. So various things that I use in class and that I expect the children to use quite often. I have to say, my sister's also a teacher, we went in and must have bought between us like 40, 50 of these frames because they're a pound each. And IKEA shipping, if you want to buy 10 of these, the shipping's like £7. It's ridiculous. So you're paying almost double to buy these and have them shipped. If you look on Amazon and things, they're like £3 each. And with IKEA, you get a year to take things back. So we thought, let's get a few extra. We don't know how many we want. I want some in my reading area and stuff. And then that way, we can always take some back if we've bought too many. But the woman at the till was just flummoxed at the fact that we picked up so many of these frames but these as I say they're a pound each and they're really really useful sorry I didn't just pick up the dress and the magazine as I picked up some other bits and I completely forgot to show you I picked up these dinosaur top trumps cards dinosaurs is my first topic at school my children love top trumps and you can actually use these for maths lessons and things um so I picked up a set of these these were 397 I picked up this little Winnie the Pooh pocket library so you get a book for each of the characters so you've got one on Owl, Kangaroo and Roo, Eeyore, Tigger, Piglet and Pooh and my friend is absolutely obsessed with Winnie the Pooh and as I say she's having her first baby nearer the end of the year so I picked this up for him I picked up a couple of water bottles in Asda they were reduced to £1.75 I really loved it's sort of like a diamond cut on these They've got just a pop open. Oh, I can't do it. With just a bit of silicone just to keep it shut. So they had it in this like orangey peach colour. It's coming up a bit lighter on the camera. They also had, I've already started using this one, like a teal. And I thought they were really cool. And at £1.75, you can't really go wrong for a drinks bottle. And the last two bits I picked up in Asda were these two books. Now, as you know, I'm an absolute Harry Potter nerd, but I've never watched 
read even any of her other books and I haven't read this play script I was sort of I've ummed and heard about it for a long time a lot of people say it's brilliant a lot of people say that it's not but the books were were two pounds were two for seven pounds sorry in Asda so I picked up the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child but I also picked up this one Blood Sisters it says three little girls one good one bad one dead and it hasn't got much of a blurb Three little girls set off to school on Sunday Mon May morning. Within an hour, one of them is dead. Dark, complex, and thrilling. And it just it just caught my eye. Um, as I say, it was two for seven pounds, so I wanted to pick up another book, and that one just kind of drew me in, I suppose. So I picked up those books in Asda. I have also been to B and M's. I am going to see my friend in a few days, and she's got two little ones. So I always bring something sort of crafty for them. And I've picked up these. Now, these sets of pens, 100 colouring pens, were £9.99. B&M's were selling them for £3.99. And they're now reduced to £1.99. So you are getting 100 colouring pens for £1.99. And yes, they're, they're not going to be, you know, like, perfect quality. But for two pence a pen, that's just, you can't say no to that. So I picked one up for each of her children. And then I picked a third one up for my friend who's having a baby shower at the end of the month for her little one because I just feel mum's going to come home with all these presents and she's a bit confused, she's six. So I thought get her some colouring pens and I bought her something else just as a little gift for her after the baby shower as well. So they were one ninety nine each. Also from b and I picked up two of these jumbo colouring books. You get 400 pages for £2.00. And then just all sorts of different images in here. And as I say, these are for my friend with her for her two little ones. Oh, I like the triceratops. And that's those to go with the pens. And also to go with them, I picked them up. She's got a boy and a girl. And I picked up a pirate and a princess sticker fun book. I don't care which way round they want them. But they were the only two designs. So I just picked up one of each. So you've got all the different scenes in here, and then near the end, you've got all the stickers. So then they can put the stickers in each of the little scenes and make their own little stories. So that's the pirate one, and then there's the princess palace. And there's some of the different images in there, and then as I say, you get at the back loads of different stickers for them to make their own little scenes with. So that's those, and as I say, they can have them whichever way around they want. Um, was that everything for BMs? Oh no, and just some oh, just some pampers to go in my friend's hampers for their baby showers. I've got one baby shower at the end of the month, and then the other friend, the baby shower won't be till like November. She's due in December, so it'll probably be November December time. But I'm just picking bits up as I go along, and I also picked up in BMs these. Books. Now these are Disney books, Disney Magical Stories. It's not really focusing very well. And then they were one pound twenty nine. And I didn't think that, that was bad at all, considering these are Disney books. The illustrations and the quality of the book is really, really good. So it's the story of the Little Mermaid, the story of the Lion King, the story of Frozen, and then the story of Beauty and the Beast. I just recently watched the, the Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson. I thought it was really good. Um, but I don't have very many fairy tales at school. And so it, it's hard to sort of show children sometimes. Because they're used to seeing it as a, as a film. And I just thought for £1.29 they're really, really good value. And I looked on Amazon and most of these, they've got loads, like practically every Disney title in these books. And they're normally £4. So I thought, I think it's because they've changed the covers because the Beauty and the Beast one on Amazon had a different cover. So I think these are like the old style that they're selling off cheaper. And then they're, they're updating them I suppose. But I didn't think that was bad value at all. And the other shop that I've been to this week is the range. And the range I've spent a lot of money in over the last few days. So I'll start with a few bits that I got for school. So I picked up this little mini clipboard. So it's got a little unicorn memo pad and a pen. And then it's covered with all these little lightning bolts. This was 2 99 and I also picked up an A4 clipboard with flamingos, palm trees and pineapples on. 
palm trees, palm leaves even, which is a bigger clipboard, it's just the same on the back. Now, I don't have any clipboards at all, and sometimes when you take letters out to parents and things in the playground, you just want something a bit sturdy on, and this was 2 99 as well, which is why I've picked these up, and I do love to write myself a little list, and I thought that would be really useful for school. I keep borrowing someone else's clipboard, but I can't keep doing that, so I just picked up a couple of my own. I picked up two new tubs of sequins. I practically have every set of sequins that the range do. I don't need any more sequins. I tried to tell myself this in the shop, but as you can see, I clearly didn't have a very good conversation with myself. I'm sorry it's not really focusing. I'm not really too sure why. Is it because I'm holding it weird? Oh, there we go. So this one's got like a dark blue, a purple, like a minty, minty green and a holographic silver. I like this one, this is my favourite. Oh, can I make that focus? Yeah, there we go. And I pretty much picked it for that colour there. I've got loads of silver, and that one's really lovely. And then there's this one as well, which is different shades of sort of reds and oranges. These ones are a little bit more translucent. And that's the sequins in this one. And these are a pound for these wheels. And as I've shown these in hauls before and in my sequin storage video. And I, I love these. You get this is such good value for one pound. And I picked up this set as well. Again, I have no use for any more sequins. I have a ridiculous amount. But these are just like all my favourite colours in one bag. All these shades of blue. It's just beautiful. All the turquoises and stuff. I don't know why I'm showing the back. It's exactly the same thing. But these are only a pound. Now normally I separate all my sequins. But I'm going to leave these as a mix. Because I think this just works perfectly. I don't. I do like sitting and sifting through my sequins and separating them all, but I just think this is just a perfect ready-made like ocean sea mix, so I don't see the point. I picked up some more of these heart glitter tags. I already have two sets of these. I've got them in the pink and the gold, um, which I got in a range haul ages ago, but they didn't have, I think they do silver as well, they didn't have any of those, but they do have some of the red ones. I'll pick those up for a pound. I picked up these Paper Mania Star little gemstones. I've got the silver and then the coloured ones. These were one pound fifty, and they're sort of like bubbled. I can't really explain it. Let me see if I can. They're like you can kind of see it on some of these ones. They're like a little bubble. They're really really pretty, and I know they're really small. Oh, let me put it back on autofocus. I don't know why it keeps coming off that. Um. And I just thought they had a really lovely effect in the backgrounds of cards and things. They'd be really pretty. So they were £1.50 a pack. I have got tons of the 3D butterflies. And I use them on everything. And I saw this one. This is the only set of these that I could find in this beautiful little lilac colour. And these were a pound. So I picked them up. And I love these. I, I literally use these every colour combination that they have. I saw Michelle Stratford's video recently and she'd hauled these little pouches and if you saw her video you'll know that inside although it says holographic binder clips and holographic paper clips actually inside they're plain I can open this one handed so when you look at them like this the paper clips look holographic but once you take them out they're just normal silver ones so I, I was sort of already aware of that when I went because I'd seen Michelle's video. Um, so as I say, I was I picked these up pretty much for the little pouches and I like the fact that they come on the little chain. I thought I could just pin them up on the wall and use them for various other bits. And they were a pound for the paper clips and I think it was £1.50 for the little binder clips. But I've used up all my, my regular binder clips. I picked up one stamp today. picked up this one. A whole year older and a whole year more awesome. It's my brother-in-law's birthday at the end of the week. And I'm hoping to make him a birthday card. And so I picked that up. I picked up a load of their stickers. Now I know I'm a bit late to the party on these. I know people have been hauling these for a long time. But I haven't been to a range recently. Uh, as recent as these have come out, I should say. So I picked up the round pink stickers with the flamingos and the palm leaves the little palm trees in the middle so I picked those ones up 
on all these stickers were a pound. I picked up the gold round ones with all the little pineapples in. Then I picked up the set of the flamingo stickers. So you've got the pineapples, the flamingos and the little flowers. And they've got them in gold. In the light dusty pink. And in the turquoise. This is my favourite. absolutely love this colour. And then they had these dream catcher stickers. I love dream catchers. So I had to get these. So you've got them in this like gold colour. Quite hard to sort of see the gold, but you can kind of see it there when it shines in the light. Like a, a gunmetal colour. If I turn it that way, you can kind of see it's like a dark silver. And then they also had these in that like dusty pink. And I love the feathers. I just love dream catchers in general those stickers each set were a pound the next bits that I picked up were some colouring books so the first one I picked up was this Roald Dahl's Marvellous Colouring Book Adventure now I was a bit disappointed because these were advertised at 4 or on the shelf it said 4 for the colouring books when they scanned up at the till they scanned up at 7 and I didn't realise until I'd got home so I'm a little bit disappointed because they are actually cheaper on Amazon but hey ho so you've got various different images from all the Roald Dahl stories in here, so you've got all sorts of the dream jars, SEO Trot, uh, the draft of the Penny and Me, Magic Finger, you've got Jack ones from James and the Giant Peach, some really lovely images in here, so that's the Roald Dahl one. And I also picked up the Beatrix Potter one, again, advertised at 4 99 come up at 7 99 but if you look on Amazon they're only 6 99 so this is a much easier coloring book, the images are much bigger, the Roald Dahl one's much more intricate. But I just thought these were really easy, really beautiful images from Beatrix Potter. Some really lovely ones in here. Oh, I love that one, that one's really sweet. And I picked up two of this one because for my friend's little girl, when I make her little gift bag for after the baby shower, I thought she absolutely loves colouring at the moment. And I thought this was a really nice one for her to have with all the animals in. So I picked up two of that one. Oh, oh, they're heavy. Then I picked up another set of the little books, the Twilight Kingdom ones. This is the sunset edition, so I already have the little book of Twilight Kingdom. So this is just different colours. You can see it was seven ninety nine, which is by Hunky Dory. So this is the little book, and you've got all sorts of images. So you've got Believe in the Fairies Who Make Dreams Come True. Oh. Oh, get quite a few of each one. But this one. If kisses were leaves, I'd give you a forest. If love was water, I'd give you an ocean. That one. That one. And in the other book, this one has got like a green background. That one. That one's really lovely. And if you saw my flip through when I bought the original one of this, you'll know most of the images are the same. It's just the, the sunset background as opposed to like the night skies. It's like this one is sort of purpley. Those do not who do not believe in magic will never find it. In the other book that's that's quite pink. I have the cat one. Oh sorry, my hands in this shot. Blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures. Horse in a carriage. Two swans in front of a castle. Uh, the cat on the tree branch with the moon. Stag in a forest. Castle, horse and carriage. Fairy. Another fairy one. I love this one, the tree in the ocean. And then finally, birds flying from the tree. And that one's got a really lovely background. So that is those. And then the final bits that I picked up in the range are these. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that Lisa, who is Potsy Fighter here on YouTube, 
picked me up these from Austria. She posted them over in her friend mail video, uh, in her friend mail, which I did a video for. Somebody commented on there recently saying that the range sold these. Now, I've looked every time I've been in the range, and I've never found these until today. But what I was most excited about is that they're completely different designs to the ones that I showed you before. So if you, my last, I think it was the last video I uploaded was a flip through of the six collections that Lisa sent. And I couldn't help myself. I picked up all six collections <laughs> that they had in the range today. They didn't have many of these. They had a lot of collection six and a lot of some plain ones without the foil in. But they only had one of the two, one of four and a couple of five. So I picked these up and I'm going to do those in a separate video. But that's the paper stacks that I picked up. And then the final things that I picked up in the range today, I broke a rule I've had for a long time. I don't buy my Christmas stuff until really close to Christmas. And I've actually bought Christmas stuff in August and I'm disgusted with myself. But my mum has asked me to make all her Christmas cards and tags for, for this year. So I kind of want to get a bit ahead of the game. So I picked up one of the Crafts UK, the 5x7 red and green cards and envelopes. So you get the red card, the green card, and then both colours in the envelope. So that's just a basic pack to get me started. And then I picked up this Christmas card pack. So you've got 20 sheets of red, 20 sheets of green, and 20 sheets of white card. So again, just to get us going... Then I picked up one washi tape, because I've still got quite a lot of Christmas washi tape from last year. If it focuses, it's like a an airmail, oh there we go. Like an airmail, first class, like postage stamp one, which I thought was really cool. That was a pound. That's one of the Do Crafts Create Christmas range. But I didn't pick up many of the other washi tapes, to be honest, because I, I couldn't remember which ones I had from last year. I did, however, pick up one of each of their ribbons. So the ribbons were a pound each. You get three metres. So you've got the red one with the snowflakes, the white one that says Merry Christmas in red, the green one with the little holly leaves, and then you've got the white and green one with that, the little cottage with the pine trees, a plain gold one, and then a white one with little stars and snowflakes on. So I just picked those up because if I'm making tags, I just like the, the way it looks with sort of a bit of ribbon at the top of the tag. So I picked those up because I haven't got any Christmas ribbon at all. Then I picked up some Diamante stickers. I only picked up two sets. This one here with the little trees and the presents. These are a pound. And the little ones with the candy canes and the little sweets. Again, were a pound. Then I picked up a job lot of Christmas stickers. So I picked up, again, all of these were a pound each. So you've got the Christmas trees and the reindeer, oh, the Christmas trees, little snowmen, little gingerbread men, houses, stocking sweets and things, some little Father Christmases with candy canes, and little mints, I picked up two of that one. Got this one with the presents, a couple with the reindeer and the sacks, this one here with the little the baubles. Little snow globes, holly and poinsettia, little robins, this one here with a few Father Christmas and lots of little robins. This one here's got little Christmas sentiments, which I thought would be good for the inside of cards rather than for the tags I'm making. Then I really love these ones, these little faces. I think I picked up two of that one, yeah, I picked up two of that one. Then this one, how adorable are these? Again, I thought on the inside of a card, or just as a, just a simple little thing on a tag, which is a couple of little diamantes, thought they were lovely, so I picked up two of that one. And the last one I picked up two of as well, because I absolutely adore polar bears, and these are just lovely. And I love the fact that the trees are in blues and silvers, like the teal, teal colour. It's just really interesting, it's a different take on them. So I picked up two of that one. So those were the Christmas stickers I picked up. I picked up a packet of these clear stars, which have got the the gem on the front. They've got the, just a plain silver back. They were a pound, and the same in the gold. 
and then the last two things I picked up were two stamps so I picked up this one here this was a pound little gingerbread house with the candy cane the heart and the sweets and the final one is this one now I haven't got any scene builder stamps and I thought this one would be really cool it's only a little one it was only a pound something to sort of for me to have a try at making um, like the scene builder stamps and I thought this one would look really lovely if I stamped it with the black and the green in just regular inks and the red if I used I've got the, the tinsel red paper mania embossing powder and I thought that would just give it a little bit of sparkle but not be in your face so I'm really excited to give that one a try and that's everything that I've bought over the, the last week or so I suppose it is I mean it is a lot <laughs> there is a lot of stuff piled up next to me and as, if I didn't say these paper pads from the range were a pound I don't think I mentioned that um, I'm really looking forward to using these as you know I use the, the original of this quite often um, I don't know there's just there's so much there's so much I really should be a little bit more careful with my spending over the next few weeks otherwise I'm going to have no money <laughs> left thank you for watching everybody if there's anything you want to see in a future video please let me know give me a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.